Hey guys, it's Joanna. I'm back in my little closet nook here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a review of a few different products from Color Science. So this is the body shield, the face shield, and also a little three-in-one total eye, kind of under eye concealer, sunscreen, and skincare kind of product. So keep watching if you are interested. Okay, before I jump into the reviews, I do feel like I need to do some disclosing so that we are all on the same page here. First of all, yes, these products were sent to me by Color Science, so thank you, Color Science. No, I am under no obligation to make a video or say anything positive or negative about these products. Uh, but I am using affiliate links down below, so if you use those links to make a purchase, I will be earning a small commission which helps support this channel. But as you will see, my review is going to be honest, and I'm not going to be recommending all of these products, so you probably won't be using those links. But nevertheless, I just feel like that's really important to lay out there. This is not my job, and I am certainly, you know, I, I think the important thing is to share relevant and honest and true information with you guys, and if that ever changes, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, that being out of the way, let's get into the review. So I'm going to start with the face shield, and I'm going to be comparing this to all of the other mineral sunscreens I recently reviewed in my other video, which I will link down below. So this is kind of a, even though this one review in this video, I have the, the whole stack, so I'm going to be kind of doing continuation of basically that um, mineral skincare or mineral sunscreen video, because this one is also 100% mineral. It is zinc oxide 12% as its active ingredient. Uh, it is uh, sweat and water resistant for 40 minutes, broad spectrum SPF 50, and it comes in this little package that is 1.8 fluid ounces, which is not a lot of product, I have to say, especially if you compare it to some of the other products I tested in my previous video. For example, the Drunk Elephant uh, sunscreen was 3 ounces, so you know, 33, over 33% bigger than this, and it was also a little bit less expensive, so $34 versus this, which comes in at $39. So this for sure is on the high end of sunscreens. It is comparably priced to, I believe here in the US anyway, to the La Roche-Posay and to Helios sunscreens, if you're familiar with those, but at $39, it is certainly quite pricey. So this comes out in a peachy color, it is quite drippy. If I'm using my little quarter teaspoon here to measure, uh, and again for me it's roughly three-fourths of a quarter teaspoon is how much I need. Uh, so if I use that much for my face, as you can see it actually leaves barely any trace when you first apply it. So the peachy tint seems to work really well with my skin. After five minutes this pretty much looks, you know, cast free, so there's no white cast looking face. Even though it is quite drippy of a product, applying it actually feels a lot thicker. So for example, if I were to compare this to the Etude House Sun Prize, which is also a very similarly packaged kind of a little sunscreen that also is quite liquid and in a little shaker situation here, the Sun Prize feels a lot more liquid, whereas this one feels a little creamier when you're applying it, even though they both have a very similar drippy consistency. I don't know, it's weird, it's just how it is. There is a very faint scent to the color signs, so it is not unscented if you're sensitive to fragrance, but it's very, very faint. I wouldn't say it's a pleasant fragrance, I mean, I don't mind it, but it's not something that I'm like, ooh, that smells nice. <laughs> so thank goodness it's really, really faint. It is very moisturizing feeling on the skin, and, and it also has kind of a greasy finish. If you have oily skin, you probably won't like this finish that much. I actually really like it, even though I have combo skin, just because of, you know, all this preference for glowy skin lately. So it's kind of a nice look, I think, even on its own. It seems to even out your skin tone a bit, just because of the very light, peachy tint that it has. Uh, and so I do kind of like the way it finishes. In terms of its wear under makeup, I do find that it is really not good at keeping your oils at bay. So again, if you have oily skin, you'll probably be doing some padding throughout the day to kind of absorb that oil. So just keep that in mind. All of that being said, I think this is a pretty solid sunscreen. I mean, honestly, of all of the ones I tried, if price were not a factor, I would say this is kind of up there. I like the fact that it's kind of more liquid than the Elta MD, for example. Um, which I would say would be like my, again, back in my other video, the Alta MD. This one was my favorite sunscreen, really, just for general purpose. But if price were not a factor, I would have to say this color science beats it out. 
But because there is such a big price difference, I mean, the Elta MD packaging, for example, is three fluid ounces versus, again, this is only 1.8. Uh, and also, this is a lot less expensive. So again, because of that, I just, I'm, I don't know, I have a hard time saying $40, $39, whatever, is a, is a worthy price to pay for a sunscreen that you're going to be using a lot of and going through pretty quickly. So that is the only thing I would say that's a downside to the color science. But from the use and the way that it finishes for me and just how it feels on my skin, I, I really have positive things to say about this. All right, next up for the body shield, um, this is a more traditional kind of thicker white mineral sunscreen. And this is again, all mineral with again, same active ingredient of zinc oxide as its filter. The texture of this feels, I think very similar. In the past I've used the MD Solar Sciences sunscreen. I think this is very, very similar to that based on my memory. Again, it's been a while since I've used that one. It has like a bit of a silicone-y kind of feeling on the skin. If you are applying a healthy amount of it to get the right kind of coverage that you need, you will definitely be seeing a very faint white cast. I mean, it's not as bad as some products, like the Australian Gold that I tested in my last video, for example, but it's definitely there. So that is something to be aware of, particularly if you have darker skin tones. On me, after a few minutes, you know, it looks more or less faded away, but, uh, and you know, continued wear of this over time it does definitely fade away. But again, it's not something that I would say is universal. This one is also water and sweat resistant for 80 minutes, so a little bit better than the uh, face shield. But this one I would say also has a stronger scent than the face shield. It's the same scent, it's the same fragrance as far as I can tell, but this one is just a little bit more pronounced. And it's a, honestly, I really can't describe it. It almost smells like cough syrup <laughs> in a way, but like a faint, faint cough syrup. So more pronounced in this, less pronounced in the face shield, but a similar kind of cough, cherry cough syrup kind of fragrance. So not the most pleasant. As far as this goes, really nice product, but for the body, I personally am just not so fussed about um, sunscreen. I mean, I you know, I want to get a good application. I want it to, to be sweat water resistant, but I don't feel the need to spend, this is, oh, I forgot how much this is now. This is pretty, again, the color signs for all of their sunscreens is quite high end. So unlike the face where I care a lot more about texture, look and feel, etc., for the body I'm a little bit more blah and I feel like you can get, you know, products that are probably not as nice as this one but certainly won't be that far off for a lot less money. So I would say for this, nice product but uh, again, just the price sensitivity of me makes this not something that I would go out and buy myself. Finally, with the 3-in-1 Total Eye Concealer, Skincare, blotty blah sunscreen. <laughs> I mean, it seems like a silly concept to me to actually have a dedicated sunscreen for your under eye area. This product has a lot of nice extract ingredients and it's funny to me on the, you know, on the website it, it kind of um, has description of all of the, the key factors, the key ingredients in here that make it so special because it is freaking expensive. This little tiny thing, 0.23 fluid ounces, cool little container that pushes up uh, and I mean, it's a really nice design, but honestly, in my mind, ma the majority of that $69 is going to this fabulous little package here. Honestly, <laughs> the, you know, the ingredients, fanciful, fanciful as they are, and if you read the, the, the description, they'll have all of these trademarked um, ingredient names like, hang on, let me just pull this up. Ingredient names like actinize or beautify with, you know, an E at the end, so it's kind of like, a play on the word I. Um, Adivine, 5X, Sinai, pho photo mo Phyto Moist, excuse me, all of these kind of made up, <laughs> made up words to explain the ingredients in here. If you look at the ingredients list, those ingredients are not actually in the ingredients list because they're just some proprietary formula that, you know, color science has come up with and trademarked some special name for it. So honestly, though, if you just look at the ingredients, there's nothing in here that's like, wow, that's a miracle worker. In my mind, basically for $69, this is just a nice concealer. It's it's nothing, It's I don't think it's a miracle worker. Um, I In my use of it for the last week, I haven't, you know, I haven't been testing it for an extensive period of time, but over the last week, I haven't found that it is a fantastic thing that everyone must get. I think in reading the reviews, if you do have very creased under eyes, 
Um, this something like this might be nice just because it really doesn't seem to, you know, sink into creases whatsoever. So I don't have that problem with my under eyes, so it's not something that I, I think I, I need, but I've noticed it just on my upper eyes. This is a nice product that doesn't seem to like, you know, catch on your creases. It is quite moisturizing, it is quite rich. It does have some nice moisturizing factors in here. And so for that reason, I think it's a nice product, but it's not something that is, in my mind, worth $69. Overall, Color Science is for sure a luxury, higher-end brand of sun care products. I think if you have the money, they are really, really nice products. They are fragranced, so it's not like, um, you know, a super, like, clean product in that way. But there's absolutely nothing that I've experienced with them that would cause a negative reaction. And I do, especially like the texture for that face shield, I do find it to be really, really nice as a sunscreen. And especially if you're just looking for a mineral-only sunscreen, this one is now probably one of my favorites, if not my most, I guess it is my favorite one, if I have to like, you know, just purely without considering the price. It is something that I would actually buy myself, but I would only probably buy it if I saw a deal. And, you know, Color Science actually regularly does have sales. You've been thinking about this brand, you know, again, I've been a long time user of their powdered sunscreens, so I do think they're a nice innovator in this space. And I, you know, I don't have anything negative to say about them, except that I do feel like the pricing recently has become quite extravagant. So they're trying to get up into that like super luxe field. So I get it, you know, hey, everyone's out to make some money, but just be aware that I don't think you need to spend that much money in all scenarios. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.